So in regards to base work in PAL world, there are obviously specific work suitability traits each PAL offers. Now all of these traits do different things obviously, but at the same time these traits can go up to a level 4 on certain PALs. And in this video guys, I bring you a complete guide on all level 4 suitability work PALs you can go out there into the open world, catch, tame and use in your base to make things a whole heap more efficient. Now before we go any further guys, I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game. To be in with a chance of winning one, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on. Winners will be announced at the end of the week, so good luck everybody. Also guys, you should definitely join my Discord, come and join my Power World community, meet friends, meet people to play with, share your experiences, all linked down below. Again, Discord, come join, link down below. So first things first people, the traits themselves. They consist of kindling, which is working with fire, i.e. smelting metal, lighting torches and cooking. Planting, which means these powers will basically run your crops, i.e. plant lettuce seeds, tomato seeds, wheat and berries to grow these. Handiwork, which means power will assist you or craft things for you. Lumbering means where powers will chop down trees or work at that logging site for you. Medicine production is obviously the production of paracetamol at that medicine station. Transporting, uh, which is powers who will transport dropped items from wood from logging sites to berries from the fields. Watering is powers who will water your crops, work machines like the mill, a crusher and so forth. Generating electricity is basically a power who will power the production of things that will light up your base, i.e. power generators and so forth. Gathering are powers who will harvest crops and store them in your feed box. Uh, we have mining are powers who will farm rocks for you, including the stone pit. Cooling is a power who will use energy to cool your cool box or your fridges. And farming is a power trait where it will drop a specific item for you at your base if you have a ranch. Now again, these can be a level 1 to a level 4. Level 4 being the best by far and it means in all cases things will be done faster and more efficiently. So there are multiple powers in this game which offer level 4 in most of these work suitability traits. So let's go through each one. And we're going to start with kindling so with kindling there is one level four power uh, which has this trait in the game which i know of its name is jamontide ignis and this dude won't be the easiest of catch for you people now these can be located far west of the map seen on screen now here guys bring that heat and cold resistant gear and also some of the best spheres you can have to catch this dude best of luck for you people though uh, i actually got this dude from an egg so lucky me Okay, so in regards to planting, there is one level 4 power here and his name is Lylene. Now, it is an ultra rare spawn but can be found top right of the map seen on the screen now. This area is a little spicy so if you decide to come this way, be prepared with cold and heat resistant armors and expect nothing but the best spheres in the game to catch one of these guys. Handiwork, we have the Anubis. This is the only plan in the game I know of which has that level 4 in that handiwork. Now, Anubis doesn't actually spawn in as a regular pal within the open world, as far as I'm aware, but you can find him as a world boss located right here on the map. Now, this dude will be at level 47, so it will be difficult to catch, but come prepared. Now, it's best to bring those best spheres in the game, obviously, and hopefully, luck is on your side here. You can also breed this dude if you want to make things a little easy for yourself if you are set up with the breeding facilities. So by simply breeding any of the following powers, you can get this dude. So if you struggle with actually capturing Anubis, the world boss, try looking at breeding the following. We have Penking and Bushy, Quivern and Chillit, Ragnarok and Tombat, Kitson and German Tide, Brancherry and Relaxosaurus, Rusher and Zazuki Aqua, Salve and Menesting and Jobfin and Sazuku and there we have it guys so breed any of the following two pairs and it should guarantee you an Anubis baby. Okay so on to Lumbering now as far as I'm aware guys there isn't a level 4 power in the game as of right now that I could find that offers a level 4 in that Lumbering. The best I could find was a level 3 and that belongs to Wumpo. Okay so to find this Wumpo 
you will find him top left at a map as seen on the screen now. Now, this area is almighty cold. So that cold resistant armor is a must up here, people. Now, we also do have Bushy, who offers, again, a level 3 in that lumbering. Uh, this dude's location is bottom left of the map, and in my opinion, is probably a much easier catch than Wumpo, just because of the areas. But hey, each one of these will offer you a level 3 in that lumbering, people. Now, in regards to medicine production, there isn't a level 4, as I'm aware in the game, but there are two level 3s. We have the Lilian which is a power we've already covered in regards to planting. So if you want to get the level 3 in regards to this medicine production power, go back in the video. But there's also, guys, a Veilet, I believe that's pronounced. Again, another level 3 here. Now, the Veilet, which in my opinion is a much, much easier catch, this power can be seen located on screen right here, guys. So I'll do what you got to do with medicine production is something you're interested in. Okay, so next up, guys, we have transporting. And the one level 4 power in this game that I know of with that transporting level 4 trait is Wumpo, the guy we just covered. So Wumpo again, guys, is located top left of the map. Again, it's a real cold area, so that cold resistance armor will be needed up here. Also, bring those better spheres too to make this one a little easier to catch. But Wumpo offers a level 4 in that transporting. Okay, so watering, guys. So there's only one power in the game, as far as I'm aware, that has a level 4 in that watering trait, and it's German Tide. Now, as far as I'm aware, this guy only appears as a world boss. I mean, I could be mistaken here, but I haven't seen him anywhere else. And that world boss location, you can see right here on the map, he will be a level 45. So although you can come here early on, the chances of you catching this dude early on are quite low. So level up, suit up, and do what you got to do to come and catch this dude. Okay, so generating electricity, there's one level 4 power I know of it in the game, and his name is Ozerk. Now this dude, also like a few others we'll cover today, is found top right of the map as seen on screen now. Now the area is quite difficult, so if you come this way, again, be prepared with that cold and heat resistant armor, and stack up with your pals. Also, nothing best of the best spheres will get you this dude in regards to catching him, people. So good luck with this one. Now, I would normally be covering Gathering at this point as it's next in line. But we'll talk more about a pal later on that's required to do this. So we will continue on there. Okay, so next up, people, we have Mining. And the one level 4 pal I know of in the game who has a level 4 in that mining, his name is... Astigen, I believe that's pronounced. Now, this dude does appear as a world boss, but guys, you can get him a little easier when you go to the top right of the map. The same spot we just covered for Ozark, uh, Lilian, a couple of other powers too. Uh, so, yeah, be prepared. So, if you come here, guys, you want to make sure you have that heat and cold resistant armors. And also, if you come up here and the specific power isn't in this spot that you want, if you circle around the area, it should eventually appear. And although levels are around at level level 40, keep that in mind. They ain't the easiest of catches. So yeah, do what you gotta do. But traveling all this way, make sure you also have the right armor and the spheres to make this catch. Okay, so next up guys, we have cooling. So the one pal in the game that offers a level 4 in cooling is a pal called Frost Stallion. And this is a legendary pal, people. This is a level 50 boss that will not be an easy catch. Now to locate this dude, you need to head to the top left of the map. The area is very, very cold. So that cold resistant armor will be a must here. It's also a tough battle. This dude hits hard. He sponges a lot of damage and nothing short of legendary spheres will be able to catch this dude. I mean, unless you've got super luck on your side. So come up here, guys, and good luck to you. Okay, so now we can go back to gathering. So the one pan in the game that offers a level four in that gathering is Frostellian Nut. Not Frostellian, but Frostellian Nut. So to get this dude, guys, you actually have to breed a specific two pals to hatch a egg where you get the Frostellian Nut. And those two pals are Frostellian, who we just covered, as well as the House Cypher, I believe that's pronounced. 
breed these two together. Obviously, they have to be male and female. Um, but breed them together, guys. The egg should give you the Frost Alien Nut, who is the only pal in the game that I know of, who offers a level 4 in that gathering. And there we have it, guys. Now, in regards to farming, I actually don't think there are any. Uh, but if I've missed any, let me know. But I don't think there's any level 4 farming pals in the game that I have seen whatsoever. Ever. And it wouldn't make sense that there would be because farming powers just drop items for you at base. Simple as that. But there we have it, guys. All of the best work base powers in the game and how you get them. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.